Okay, welcome to a new year. It's New Year's Day. It's the 1st of January, 2024. And who'd have thunk it? We actually made it. <laughs> um, I think we, for some strange reason, the world dodged a bullet. The economic world dodged a bullet last year, 2023. And then comes the reckoning. So <clears throat> let me give you an overview of where we stand in the patterns. And, you know, judge for yourself then. What do you think? <laughs> so I think uh, I might. Yeah, we'll start on the we'll start on the large degree charts and we'll work from there. So uh, I'll do that uh, for all the markets. And uh, welcome, sorry, I never said welcome to the weekend video, the start of the year video, the <clears throat> opener, the opening salvo of 2024. Um, this shall be, I think, a year of, sorry to say, expanding catastrophe. <laughs> but so be it. Okay, this is euro dollar. We'll start with the FX markets, <clears throat> and this is the daily chart in euro dollar. Um, you can see we have a B wave low, and we're working on a C wave rally. That is the that's the theme, I think, for this year, really, uh, for the first six months, anyway. Uh, probably continue up uh, towards maybe one thirty, one forty. It's a kind of it's a wide margin, let's say, for um, for a target for wave B here, uh, for wave C of B. Sorry, uh, but I think you know you could you could shoot a dart between you know one thirty and one forty there, one thirty five maybe or something like that. Uh, will probably be where we will close out um, this pattern. But this is a C wave rally, and it shall it'll be short lived, and we'll turn down again. So. For the moment, you know, well, for the year, let's say let's say 2024 will be, or well, the first six months anyway, will, will be a, a rally in wave um, C of B. For the next couple of weeks, I think we still have to close out this um, second wave correction. So we've got a wave one high at 112. We should have a wave two low somewhere down about 104 maybe. We we'll close close out three waves down down around 104. And that's what I've been tracking now for the last while. <coughs> Excuse me. Here is the wave one top. Wave A down, wave B up, and we should be heading lower in wave C uh, pretty soon. Um, the size of wave B, you know, the top of wave B hasn't been confirmed yet. I thought we had a top in here, obviously, but we two days trades took that uh, <laughs> took that idea out from under me. Um, but we have a, a larger pattern here now, pretty much in place. So the idea now is that we top out a, a larger three-wave correction in wave B, and then we turn down into wave C. So here you can see the hourly chart. There's wave A up, expanded flat wave B, and then a possible one, two, extended third wave, fourth, and then maybe some sort of... Well, you can count this as a, as a standard uh, five-wave pattern in wave five, but we have reversed off the end of last week so let's see if that continues early next week as usual um the three wave pattern has completed or, or filled i mean the trend channel so we have got that kind of little box ticked we've got three waves up we've got a completed pattern we've got the trend channel closed out and now we've got at least an initial turn lower but um nothing to Nothing to write home about just yet. So I've been marking that wave A high and the previous wave four. So that's a kind of band of support for the pattern anyway. I'm not I'm not saying it's it's in terms of Elliott, that would be a band of support, but in terms of the actual pattern itself, it probably would extend that first support somewhere up around there, the wave B high and the wave three high. So we've got about one ten. <coughs> um <coughs> excuse me. If we slice down through that 110 level um, impulsively, you know, then we can start looking lower. Um, that's the idea for wave for uh, euro dollar anyway. 
let's move on this is pound dollar part of me thinks you know that i'm i'm splitting this wrong here or i'm doing something wrong um <clears throat> but in euro dollar i've got a, a larger sea wave rally to come and in pound dollar we may have topped out that large rally already uh, so maybe we're ahead of the curve here in pound dollar i don't quite know yet uh, we have three waves up complete and we have an impulsive decline so it remains to be seen whether this is enough to uh, reverse the pattern down give us a longer decline um obviously that high at wave two must hold so that's 131 well, 131.40 <clears throat> Um, so it's a one-two pattern anyway. So if wave three is coming, then it should begin. So you can see here, we've got uh, a wave one. There's the wave two high. And here we've got a possible wave one and wave two. Um, it's a pretty complex pattern up in wave two. We've got a three wave correction in wave A, very short, sharp decline in wave B, and then a possible ending diagonal or um, wedge pattern in wave c and i'll show you that uh in a second we've we've approached the 78.6 retracement but we quite didn't quite get there just yet um <clears throat> the declines off the highs have been pretty um uh pretty sharp not impulsive enough yet to turn the pattern but uh i think we'll get there here's the possible ending diagonal pattern for wave c of two uh you can see how the wedge continued to um, narrow the range of the excuse me <clears throat> the range of the action <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> got a frog in my throat <clears throat> so the range of the action continued to narrow the whole way up in the wedge we do have possibilities of three wave patterns the whole way up in the wedge so <clears throat> we have the ending diagonal idea pretty much in place here now if we break higher again i think that would probably rule out the ending diagonal idea and we should turn to something different but for the moment we've got a, a kind of re a small rejection at the upper trend line here so we'll see early next week if that um develops into an impulsive decline. <coughs> now it looks like i'm going to do a lot of coffin now here we are uh in in um dollar yen the fourth wave decline came came in pretty hard so uh, i think we've more or less done enough here if this is a fourth wave decline we've more or less done enough now to call this uh decline complete and we should turn higher um that's the idea anyway we want to go we want to go higher into wave five of five and here is the four hour count <clears throat> you can see that previous wave three high that one ended with an ending diagonal also and came down quite you know quite powerfully out of that um that top and again you know that was one of those uh much much like uh let's say cable right now or pound dollar right now the pattern that's on display in in cable is very similar to what went on here into the uh wave three high so that was one of those ones that that dragged on and on and on and i thought that we had an you know the impulsive reversal a couple of times but it just didn't materialize and then when it did come it came in very hard so i think something similar will happen happen in cable um when the actual decline does come it'll come in quite hard like that so we came down you know we've come down a thousand points here in cable or sorry in in dollar yen in a pay in a about a month let's call no six weeks we came down a thousand points uh, there was some furious rallies in there as well but uh, overall the pattern has held and i think we are coming towards the end of that pattern now and i'll show you that on the hourly count now so here you go there's the wave a low there's the wave b top so that, that's you know kind of furious snapback rally into wave b and then off that we've kind of <clears throat> slowed the, the descent um the net gains on the new lows have been minimal uh, and the rallies have been quite you know substantial so so far so we're kind of we're doing a wedge pattern also so it could also be an ending diagonal so it's one two three four and five so i'm looking for that fourth and fifth wave 
pattern to uh, materialize, let's say, over the next few days. And maybe by the end of this week, we'll get a we'll get a completed five wave decline in wave C of four, and at that point, we will look higher. Um, and it will probably be quite a furious rally higher if history is to be followed here. <laughs> so we'll see. We shall see. The pattern is working reasonably well so far, so I'm going to stick with it until you know it completely bombs. Um, here is the daily count. This is a daily count in the Dow. And obviously, we have spent the year after the good work done in in 2022, <clears throat> we have spent the year in 2023 retracing that good work. So where value was being created <laughs> in 2022, um, value has been destroyed in 2023. <clears throat> so I still think this is a, a B wave top. Uh, we have come out to a new top. You can see the rally, the furious rally in the last couple of months has been matched by nothing i think really the maybe this the central third wave part of wave a that's probably you know as close as we can get to just the the magnitude of the rally out to a new high here um <clears throat> so it was something to behold i'll tell you that much and something that i just couldn't believe that was happening uh but you know there you go i mean Never, I should never underestimate <clears throat> the willingness of um, people to speculate once they get the bit in their teeth. Um, you know, lesson learned. Here we go. So three waves up. We've almost filled that channel. Maybe we will fill the channel. I don't know. Um, we do have a nice pattern in place here for wave C so far. So we'll see how that uh, holds out over the next few days. Possible five wave pattern pretty much complete. Um, the momentum obviously has slowed down significantly into the into the high so you can see that a series of reversing peaks uh, even though you know wave five came in at an extreme as well so it's been in terms of rsi it's been a lower peak um macd has been turning lower ever since the final let's say um the end of december peak so or the mid-december peak let's say so the 12th, the 15th of December was probably the, the max out in in MACD. We've turned lower since then. Um, <clears throat> so that suffice to say, the larger pattern has done enough. Whether the short-term pattern it will agree or not is the next thing to um, examine. <clears throat> Excuse me. Obviously, the spike lower that happened, what was it, a week and a half ago now? That was very interesting to me. Um, it kind of came out of nowhere, really. Um, but we retraced it, you know, with a lot of <laughs> legs up, let's say, um, to a very slight new high. And then, you know, we're kind of pretty much closed at the high of that previous uh, wave B top. So if this is an ending diagonal pattern, again, another wedge pattern, the market has fallen out below the lower uh, trend line now. So uh, follow through, which has not happened. It will happen eventually. Follow through always comes. Uh, but will this be the pattern to cause the follow through? Let's see whether that that shall be revealed. I suppose beginning tomorrow, Tuesday. So there's no trade today. This is New Year's Day. So um, tomorrow on the second November, we shall see whether we can follow through or not. And that's the idea. Okay, let's go to gold. Uh, the initial drawdown, I think. The cross risk markets will probably take gold down with it also. So, as you can see, a possible ABC pattern here is what wave two is looking at. Even though we broke out to a new high again, you know, we pretty much reversed that new high pretty quickly. And now we seem to have reversed off the previous wave one high. So, if this is wave one and wave two, um, then the B wave top is using that as a reference, or the second wave top here is using that as a reference. And then we should work lower in five waves, down in wave C. So we've got wave A down, wave B up, and wave C. And this looks like an expanded flat correction wave two. That means we should break to a new low below, you know, 1790 or somewhere there. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go to the four hour count here. You can see that possible one, two pattern here. I haven't updated this four hour count in a couple of days. 
So we are falling behind here. So you can see the previous wave A here, 1812, previous wave 4 here, about 1800. So it looks like, you know, wave B has topped out in three waves. We closed out that three wave rally at the top of the channel and then, you know, fell you know rapidly down. Uh, this is a possible wave one um, and two. So if this is wave one and two, then we should follow through in wave three. Um, once we break 1930, that will confirm the pattern. But uh, we're going to have to wait for that to happen. It hasn't happened yet. So let's get the hourly count here. You can see that initial decline, wave one maybe, and then and three waves up so far in wave two. Again, a, a final five wave pattern to close out wave C of two, and then a small reversal late last week. Um, nothing, again, nothing to write home about. If we break the previous wave B, that'll be 2015. Again, that's what I've been looking at for the last few days. Um, that'll be... Uh, wave one and two to begin wave three. The alternate count, obviously, is a series of one, two patterns. We've got one, two, one, two, one, two. And if this B wave low breaks, that will rule out the alternate count. Uh, so it's 2015 is where this, where this pattern um, kind of hinges on, I suppose. Okay, crude oil. This is the daily count in crude oil. This is the longer term pattern that I've been looking at possible five wave decline in uh, wave three. There's a few ways you could view this, obviously. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, if this pattern is correct, then we'll break through new, to a new low below probably $60 somewhere to close out wave five of three, and then we'll correct higher again in wave four. <coughs> Overall, looking for a five wave decline in wave C. <coughs> so we don't there's not enough done here in terms of larger pattern. Excuse me again. I don't know why. Frog in my throat. So just jumped down my throat the second I press record. So, wave five of three should break below $60, I think. Um, and then we'll look higher in wave four, I think. Uh, we'll probably wait for the larger wave uh, five down. Um, to close out uh, that trend channel. I don't think we'll fall to the lower line of that trend channel, you know, somewhere down around $40 again um, until, you know, wave five. Uh, it doesn't seem, you know, that doesn't seem likely at this point anyway. Um, but a break of, you know, somewhere down, a low down around $60 is possible uh, to close out wave three. And that's kind of what I've been um, looking at uh, for the last, I'm always afraid to um, update <laughs> the uh, windows. God knows what's going to happen after it. Um, if we do, you know, 63.77, I suppose, is what I have been looking at. The, that's the previous wave B there. <clears throat> so somewhere down around $60 to close out wave five. Um, and, you know, we are still looking quite um, lower in wave five. So let's go to the hourly count here. Three waves up is what I've been following in wave four uh, lately. So wave A up, an expanded flat correction wave B. Um, that seems to, that wave C of B seems to be closing out now. Um, we've reached the, let's say, the minimum target for for uh, wave C, so let's break a wave A. Um, so that pattern is, is pretty solid. I think we'll turn higher in crude oil for the rest of this week anyway in wave C of four. And once we get this three wave correction higher done, um, we'll evaluate where we stand then. I think uh, I will be looking lower in a wave five as I spoke about earlier, um, but I'll evaluate where we stand within the larger pattern then if there is, you know, there's something bigger going on. It depends on how um, this rally materializes here. Uh, so each day as it comes, I suppose, let's see how uh, wave four closes out this week, quite possibly this week. Uh, okay, let's move on. <coughs> the S&P. <coughs> uh, 
Obviously, the S&P hasn't broken out to a new high, so we're still holding below that, uh, you know, 2021 high in the S&P. I do hope that holds, but it's not. <clears throat> it's kind of neither here nor there, to be honest, if it does uh, hold or not, because even if it is a new high, I think it'll probably, it'll just be like uh, the Dow. It'll be a B wave high and we will get reckoning this year. I think this 2024 will be the year of the reckoning. Um, so we got still a, a possible one-two pattern here in um, in the S&P, but this will just change to an A-B pattern um, if we break to a new high. And you still got C-Wave to look forward to then. <laughs> um, so far, we've got a, s a couple of rejections coming up to the uh, final highs. The uh, 48.18, I think, is the all-time high, somewhere around there, <clears throat> within a few pips. But um, we had a, an initial spike lower, kind of, uh, you know, a very choppy retracement back to a new high. Another spike lower uh, to end last week. So we're we're getting a little bit of resistance as we come in here to the all-time high again. So it depends, you know, whether that holds or not. Uh, if we turn lower impulsively, all the better. That'll be wave three down that uh, we'd be looking for. But if we do break to a new high, it'll change to a B wave top with wave C on the way down. Um, and again, we'll see what's out in front of us this week. All right, uh, I think we move on to silver. Here's the daily chart in silver. Um, we have a possible, a possible series of one twos here. Now, I'm going to caveat this because we have a clear three wave pattern higher in um i'll go to the lower account here we have a clear three waves pattern higher in silver we closed out a trend channel and we moved lower impulsively so <clears throat> although the main count main bullish count still stands there is that leering alternate count here and that alternate count is an a b c decline where wave c falls back below 20 dollars again so uh, it's not a whole long way down either from here, but um, I think it's worth, it's definitely worth keeping in mind um, that possibility. So we have an initial low here, that'd be 22.48, so that'd be the lower degree 1.2 pattern. If we break that level, I think we'll probably switch to that alternate account. So here you have that, um, sorry, 22.50 uh, at wave 2 in blue. If we break that low again, then we switch the ultra account and uh, things can get a bit hairy for a period of time anyway. Um, longer term, I think the signals are, this is the weekly count actually in silver. Longer term, the signals are still suggesting that we get a longer term rally, probably back to a new all-time high, somewhere up about $60. Um, but short term, the the, the series of corrections here need to be um they need to be completed i don't think we've got there just yet um so there is that kind of hanging you know um the ever-present possibility that uh that we switch to an, um, a larger degree second wave decline here or a larger degree correction to close out a larger degree correction in the pattern here um, and even though we've got a, you know, a series of significant rallies in silver over the last couple of weeks, that hasn't gotten rid of um, that indecision, let's say, within the pattern. So let's see how this week trades. If um, if we continue to hold, <clears throat> let's say, at 22.50 level, continue to hold there, then we should probably, I'll feel more confident, uh, confident I'd say, in that um, that bullish pattern. So that's kind of up for debate this week, I think. How about Bitcoin? The three wave rally into wave C of B, obviously that got updated this year. I was looking, I was, I was looking at that as a fourth wave uh, correction. So it was a triangle correction in wave four, and then we we're going to go lower in wave five of C. <coughs> Excuse me. But we have, um, updated that wave count the 
market continued higher, we, we traced out another five wave pattern higher. We are now sitting at the 50% retracement level of the all time high of that, uh, let's say, that initial decline, 50% retracement level. Um, and it's right on point for a B wave top. So three waves up, wave B complete, and then wave C should come your way. Um, the kind of stagnation over the last couple of weeks, it's kind of still up for grabs whether that's the initial decline into um, wave C. I think if we fall back into that trend channel again, we probably have a an argument to to be made that uh, that wave C is done. So I would watch that trend channel there. <coughs> I would watch that trend channel. Um, let's see if we can get a scale fix chart shift. Okay. No, it doesn't want to zoom in. Okay, let's see if we get a fall back into that trend channel there. And if we do, I think that'll be an interesting test of the beginning of wave C down. Anyway, that is the idea on the longer term, and there's the short term possibility there. You get um, initial punch through. You can see that that's the trend channel line here up. So far, we've kind of been holding above that, I suppose you could say, if we extend that line. So we've been holding above that um, that rising trend channel line. But if we slice down through it, don't be surprised that we continue to go down through. Uh, there is nothing magical. There is nothing. Um, how would you say? There's nothing unique or or magical about the price of this digital trading method. <laughs> You're trading a trading method. That's basically what it is. Um, there's nothing, there's no reason or rhyme to it. You know, it's it's probably, um, it may even be the, the greatest gauge of uh, social sentiment. Maybe social sentiment is too wide, but uh, social hysteria. It might be narrow, narrower enough. It's probably the best gauge of that um, hysteria. And the thing about hysteria is they tend to fall apart. So <clears throat> it fell apart before. I think it'll fall apart again. You know, people keep attaching some sort of, you know, well, alternate, let's say, reality to Bitcoin other than what it actually is. It's just a trading method. <clears throat> and it's it seems to be a, a way of you know trading dollars <laughs> quicker or, or or losing money quicker than you than you ever wished to do. Um I don't you can see by my my tone and my uh ringing endorsement here that <laughs> I don't really count on the uh, future trajectory for Bitcoin. So anyway, <clears throat> once we do close out that C wave decline, so if we get down, we get down back below wave A again, so that's about 15,000, um, then talk to me then, and then you, know, you could probably make an argument for speculation to the upside. Well, we'll see how it goes. Um, I think that's about it. I'm not going to do any more. Uh, it's been a long enough video. Uh, it's been a long enough year. 2023 was a long year. There was a lot of heavy size and a lot of, um, you know, gulps and wondering what has just happened. What's coming next? Um, 2022 was one heck of a, how would you say, kick in the teeth? With the expansion of war or the rein, uh, reintroduction of war to the continent of Europe. 2023 just saw an expansion of that war and the start, the beginning of more wars. And Jesus did say there would be wars and rumors of wars and pestilences and distress of nations. And here we are with wars, rumors of wars, pestilences and distress of nations. <clears throat> so 
the beginning of a new year. Let's see. You know, I don't tend to, to make. Um, I don't tend to. Maybe I should make more kind of long term fitting plans, but I don't tend to. I tend to try and live from day to day and week to week. Um, because I don't know, nobody's guaranteed today nor tomorrow. Nobody's guaranteed next week and nobody's guaranteed the full year. And with that view in mind, if that's the view that you frame your life, you know, whether you, you know, wake up in the morning and you wonder, am I actually going to make it to the end of the day? It tends to narrow your focus a little bit and think about, let's say, the larger traje trajectory. And the larger trajectory is that we all die. When that comes is the only thing up for question. Um, and when I die, I don't want to be standing having to answer for everything wrong and every sin that I've committed. And there has been a lot of them. But there is someone who did stand for me. And offered it to me. He said, I'll stand for you and I'll advocate for you if you accept me. So I've accepted Jesus as my savior. And I would urge you to try or to think about doing the same thing. Nobody is offered the rest of this week, the rest of this day, the rest of this year. You know, in terms of long term plans that may be foolish to even think about it. So let's see if we can get through the next week, eh? And I'll see you here at the end of this week. And we'll do it all again. Okay. Happy New Year to you. <laughs> On that bright and cheery note, Happy New Year to you all. And uh, see you at the end of this week if you make it. Bye-bye.